Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Headline Amp Fungicide and Pride Seeds. Peter Johnson at wheatpeatrealagriculture.com and what the heck are we doing between corn and cedar trees? We're going to talk about trees because man, we mentioned trees on the word and what a reaction we got. Some people hate them, some people love them, and what is the reality? So it all came together because of the unfortunate passing of Dr. Charlie Baldwin. He was a researcher, Ridgetown College, it's now Ridgetown Campus University of Guelph, and he was a tree guy. And what he did was he looked at the impact of trees on field crops. Meanwhile, at the exact same time, there was some tweets going out from a, a grower, Evan McDougall, McDonald rather, and wow, the aerial view and wherever there was a true tree, as you can see, the crop looks so much better behind the tree. What is going on? So the people that hate trees will immediately say, right along the trees, you get less yield. And that is absolutely true. So that first height of the tree, according to Dr. Baldwin's work, you get less yield. Plus you can see we get some wildlife damage. Ah, there's, it's not a perfect scenario. But what's really interesting in that research is that the first height of the tree, so if they're 30 feet high, 30 feet in, you get some yield loss. For the next nine heights, so for 270 feet, you get more yield. And in fact, you get enough more yield that you actually more than pay, quite a bit more than pay, for the yield loss that you get in that first 30 feet. Now, immediately, there are some other things that come to mind. Yeah, uh, in, those, in these aerial pictures from Evan, you can clearly see there's a huge growth difference. It looks to me like it's quite a bit further than 10 times the height of the tree, but it's aerial shot, it's hard to say. But dang it, does that mean we should just all plant trees along the windbreak? And is that actually, or along the fence row, is that the right thing to do? Well, don't forget that trees keep reaching into the field. You have to manage the tree. And so that means once in a while, you actually have to go in there and they make mechanical ones now. You go along and you chop those trees back because other, I have, I have, spruce trees planted in my fence row and man they'll be out 15 feet with the with the bottom branches they'll be out 15 feet into the field and now i'm losing that 15 feet plus the height that doesn't work so we have to manage the trees the other thing that we have to do is think about how a tree works so in in dr baldwin's work the best tree wind rake was actually a row of cedars with a row of pine trees behind it. The cedars have the branches right to the ground. The pine trees gave us some height. Well, even if you just do pine trees, they'll give you the branches right to the ground. So a hardwood fence row doesn't do as much from a wind perspective, but then you also have to be a little bit practical. So for goodness sakes, do not, let me repeat this, do not plant trees where the tile, the tile drain goes under the, tr the fence line. My gosh, are you nuts? Are you insane? Because all it'll do is plug the tile. So absolutely keep them away from the tile drains. If your neighbor doesn't like trees and you plant them two feet in on your own property, you might be legal, but you're gonna make bad neighbors because those branches come out. Think about what species that you pick. So I drove past several apple orchards you know what's really interesting is apple orchards, a lot of them plant pine trees or spruce trees as a windbreak around the apple orchard. Why? To protect those apple trees from the wind. And so that tells me that, yeah, that's a good species, but if those spruce trees reach way in, what about this idea? What about these columnar cedars? And now all of a sudden, they aren't gonna reach out and take away that valuable cropland. So all sorts of things to think about with trees. I think they can bring some real positives, but they can also bring some real negatives if we don't think about things well. Keep them off the tile drains. If your neighbor hates them, at least keep them back five feet so that you can keep those branches from, from creating bad neighbors. And for goodness sakes, on your own farm, make sure you got a tree windbreak with branches to the ground on the windward side, because if Evan's pictures are right at all, you'll have way more dollars in the bank. 
Peter Johnson at wheatpeatrealagriculture.com and trees could be a good thing. <laughs>